I don't know if you can read this. It says broke in lockdown. <laughs> this is not, <laughs> I repeat, this is not a series. This is real life. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this is a new experience for me, filming from my home. I've never done this, but with the current COVID situations um, and restrictions that we have to follow, voila, we are filming from the house. Okay, so here's the current information on gov.uk. When you can leave home. You must not leave home or be outside your home except you have a reasonable excuse. This is the law. The police can take action against you if you leave your home without a reasonable excuse. Now, what is a reasonable excuse? Work. It says you can only leave home for work purposes where it is unreasonable for you to do your job from home. So, here we go. <clears throat> Since the lockdown, how have you been earning a living? How have you been surviving? What means have you been using to like feed yourself and stuff? Uh, universal credit. Okay, universal credit, and then what else? Online service. Online service. Yeah, like surveys and stuff. Online surveys. You know, you can get paid by just doing online surveys. I've been just working. Yeah, it's not disturbed by the COVID. No. It's like, you're a key, I'm a key worker, so... Oh... Yeah, yeah. Key work is in that. Oh, okay, fair enough. I haven't worked. Uh, I'm working, but I just took a break to get to them and I'm going back to it. So you're at work at the moment? I'm at home, but yeah, I'm working. Oh, you're working from home. Oh, of course. Yeah. Of course. And how much do you spend a week on groceries? Let's say around 50. 50 pounds? Or 40? A week? Yeah. Mask 30, 35 pounds for you if I can't just push it. Like, it depends really. But I don't spend that much money like a week on food like that. So about 30, 35 pounds a week? I don't know. It could be 20 pounds. It could be 15 pounds. It could just all depend. 165 pounds in March. In, oh, a month? Yeah. 165 a month. So it was 16, oh, so 40 pounds a week. Like 15 pounds, I say. 15? Sometimes even less than that, it depends. If, you go, if I go to Lidl, if I go to co-op, it's 15 pounds. If I go to Lidl, it's like 10 pounds. Okay, so some people are working from home, some people on benefits, and on average, people spend about 35 to 40 pound a week on groceries, which is a bit surprising for me. I thought it'd be, I thought it'd be a bit less than that. So let's see what we've got in the savings. <laughs> All right. seven days which is pretty decent so one pound for breakfast one pound for lunch one pound for dinner we can have a full meal this time not just one pound the whole day and then you're starving <laughs> now this series won't just be about eating on a budget it's also ways to make money from the house so online surveys selling courses forex and trading and loads of different ways every single day I'm very excited for it this is broke in lockdown day one breakfast Guys, I finally have a mask. I've been seeing all your comments in the videos. <laughs> all right, I got a pound. I don't know if you can hear me, but. All right, so for breakfast, I'm going with Kiss. Keep it simple. Porridge for 62p. Doesn't get any simpler than that. 
So it says on the pack, it's 12 servings. But realistically, it's about six if you actually want to eat. <laughs> All right, that was 62p, so we've got 28 left. We've got crumpets here for 25. So that fits right in the budget. Crumpets and oats. So it turns out I have 13 pence left. So I'm thinking a banana to go with my oats. out of survival mode we can channel all this energy and make some money surveys now we all know about surveys we've all heard about it we've seen all the ads pop up but what we want to know is does it actually work can you make money from the house by just filling in surveys so I'm gonna dedicate the next hour to find out Okay, now a lot of you ask me how do I find all these deals and all these discounts online. It's literally as easy as surveys for money. Done. That, that's, that's it. Done. That's all the trick to all of this. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Here we go. Start earning cash today with online surveys. Earn up to £300 per month or £20 per survey in your spare time. So, it looks promising. Filling in surveys requires a lot of willpower <laughs> and patience. It's not for everyone. <laughs> it's not for everyone, not at all. You don't earn a lot of money either. All right, I'm done. It requires too much, just too much questions, man. <laughs> I still haven't earned five pound yet. I still haven't earned five pounds, so it's a no bueno. It's a uh -uh, no, it's not gonna work. All right, so the next thing we're gonna try is buying domains. Now this has a lot more return for your investment. Now the whole idea is to think of either a trending topic or a buzzword, and then buy the domain of that buzzword or that trending topic, and then set your price at it. So let's say, the hack the hack so someone's beat me to this but you say we search thehack.com and guess how much it is 10,000 pounds for thehack.com so whoever's bought this has realized oh the hack this is a buzzword, this is a trending word. A lot of people are gonna want this. So now they've set their price at 10, 10 big ones. <laughs> so now whoever wants to own this domain has to pay 10,000 pounds. Okay, here's another one. Surplus.com. The world is going eco-friendly. Everyone's being more conscious about the planet, what we're eating. Surplus.com is worth one million seven hundred and ninety five thousand nine hundred and seventy seven pounds and one pence one million pounds for a domain <laughs> you have to be up to date with like the trends social media what's going on in the world what new um 
crave is going on or what new dance or what new product is out there or what new social media this is going on and then snatch up the name <laughs> and then they have to buy it at your price whether you set it at a thousand or a hundred or a million hey so now i'm going to try and make some money via buying domains so stress-free living so mm, meditation mantra meditate to live stress-free so as the world is becoming more conscious and then we're we're paying more attention to our mental health um mindfulness physical health and the world is like waking up this is like a big pot of gold just waiting to be tapped into so now i need to try and think of words related to either meditation or stress-free living or emotional intelligence or mindfulness or meditate with me.com okay so that's already taken meditate with me.com mindfulness that's probably that's definitely already taken mindfulness.co.uk is worth 35,000 pounds <laughs> so you guys get the idea you you get a trending topic you buy the domain and then you set your price and then when an organization arises for that like to um to answer or to provide the the solution to that problem or to that trending topic they 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 come to you so um can we have the domain yes it's thirty five thousand pounds thank you <laughs> job done series done full, full stop goodbye done <laughs> mindful actions mindful actions mindful oh mindful intentions okay mindfulactions.co.uk is available for one pence mindfulactions.co.uk so now we're going to buy this for one pence for the next two years at a cart and then i'm going to set my price at it i would say probably 300 pounds 400 pounds entry level and then it's not so scary for a startup to think, okay, 300 pounds, mindfulactions.co.uk. That's, that seems reachable, that seems reasonable. That. It's almost like a, that little coin in the, in the safe. You put that little coin there and just put it aside and just let it brew up. And then someone comes, snatches you up, 300 pound bush or a thousand pound bush. lunch so i've got my one pound and three pence left from breakfast so back to the supermarket all right i found some potatoes for 26 pence now i just need something to go with my potatoes and then lunch is served. You see, with the discount aisle, it's so easy to think you're getting a bargain. This is 64p for this many mushrooms. So you might think, oh, oh let me grab it. But then you come over here, and you got 54p for these. So it's all about looking around as well. Don't just grab the first deal you find. <laughs> okay, here's a riddle, guys. What goes better with potatoes and mushrooms? Things. Alright, we're back. 
back at it. So I found a better survey website. It says make money in your spare time. Join now for a £10 welcome bonus. So I've just joined. I've got my £10, hold on, £10 welcome bonus. And then it says earn £5. So let's go. All right, I don't know. This one seems to be easy in like a really weird way. Okay, here are the conditions. Sign up to Lotto Social, purchase your first 10 lines for just one pound and you earn 10 pound. I don't know how legit this one is. It seems too easy. All right, so we're up to 36 pounds and I've just found an interesting one. It says, sign up to Simply Cook, choose your meals, complete your order and get your free trial box. Pay just one pound and get three pound added onto my 36 pounds. So here I am. I've chosen my four meals and it's a free box and I just pay one pound. Okay, so I found the catch. All these things I've been signing up to are all subscriptions and the condition is you stay signed on up until the last day of the free trial, then you cancel it. So you just have to remember <laughs> to cancel it. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna call it a day. We've earned 36 pounds so far or 39 or something. I've got a few more coming through. Um, I've had one pound for breakfast, one pound for lunch. I've got one pound for dinner. I would usually call it a day here, but because of you guys, I wanna indulge you guys and do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm gonna head to the supermarket with this and see what I can find for a pound. Alright, so here are the benefits of shopping at night time. Nine pence for a loaf of bread. Ten pence for a loaf of bread. Look at this. A whole bag of potatoes for 20p. But to be honest, I'm not really hungry. Um, that lunch slash dinner has, has got me filled up. So is, maybe give it to someone that needs it. There you go, mate. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there we have it. Broke in lockdown, day one, done. We made some money online by surveys and we've invested some money in domains. So hopefully that will come back before the end of the week. Um, I spent about two pounds today. I've got some oats left. I've got some crumpets left. I've got potatoes left. So yeah, it's been a good day. There's so much you can do with a pound or two. So if you like this video, give a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, share with all your friends and family, and I'll see you in a few days for day two. Peace.